Hello everyone, I'm Frank Garza with Lean Startup Company, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the webcast. Today's topic is how the Be My Eyes app helps the visually impaired to see, and moderating the discussion is our own Lean Startup Company faculty lead, Marilyn Gorman. Our guest is founder of Be My Eyes, Hans Morgan Weiberg, and with that, I'll hand things off to Marilyn. Hans, it is such a pleasure to have an opportunity to speak with you today. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Your approach to Be My Eyes, which is both an app that helps to drive volunteer opportunities to support visually impaired people is such an interesting idea. Can you talk a little bit about how you came up with this idea? Uh, yes, and uh, thank you for having me on this show. Uh, <clears throat> it's, um, I'm, I'm visually impaired myself, mm -hmm. so in that sense it was uh, straightforward. Uh, I have been working for the Danish Blind Association for a number of years and um, in that period, of course, I, I met a lot of uh, blind people and uh, visually impaired people like myself. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of people are asking, how did you get the idea? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it was, <laughs> one day it was there <laughs> and it wouldn't go away. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had to do something about it. And uh, I'm not technical at all myself. I knew it was possible to, to do what we're doing. Uh, but I had no clue how to do it. So I went to a startup weekend uh, in Denmark uh, where you get one minute to present an idea and I did that and uh, I was so lucky that uh, there were seven other people who said, that's a great idea, let's uh, look at that uh, over the weekend and we did that and we uh, won the prize as the most innovative idea. Uh -huh. uh, this was back in 2012 so it's all in, in startup time, it's, it's a long time ago, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and and we we spent uh, after that weekend we spent uh, one year trying to find some money, mm -hmm. and when we had done that, we spent uh, more than a year developing, uh, and then uh, in January 2015 we were ready and we launched the app. So, mm -hmm. That's kind of the short story. <laughs> I'm sure there's much more behind that as well. <laughs> and so you probably learned uh, when you went to that first uh, innovation session in back in 2012 that often innovators will come up with a great technical solution mm. and then they try to find the right customer who's going to buy this or use this. And the opposite is when they start with a customer problem and then they try to explore technical solutions. So can you talk a little bit more, where did you fit in this? Uh, it sounds like you may have been the customer and yet we try to encourage people not to necessarily consider themselves as a customer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't really know where I fit in. Uh, but, uh, obviously I was uh, kind of the, the, the customer and I knew a lot of uh, other uh, customers uh, but also I was fascinated about this, uh, that now you can make uh, 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 Skype calls and mm -hmm. FaceTime calls right out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. uh, and I knew that some of my friends, blind friends, were using Skype or FaceTime to do uh, this kind of calls uh, where you get a uh, visual assistance. Maybe we can explain what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Be My Eyes is just a simple app that basically makes a video call between two persons. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference is that uh, we have uh, volunteers who sign up and say, yes, I am available to help a blind person see mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of the basic of, uh, of uh, Be My Eyes. So. Okay. And, and, and that wasn't done before. Before you, you had to call a specific person. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and if you are a blind person and you need help uh, once in a while, uh, it kind of becomes um, troublesome to decide who to call. Mm -hmm and ask, uh, do you have five minutes to help me? Um, and, but in this way, uh, when we have the volunteers who, who sign up just to help, uh, mm -hmm. then as a blind person, you know that the person who picks up the call is willing to help you because that's the only reason why they signed up. And that's also the only reason why they take exactly your call. Mm 
but mm-hmm. because you know when the call comes in, you know it is from Be My Eyes, yeah. and then you can decide as a volunteer if you have the time or not. And um, we will obviously be providing some additional information about Be My Eyes along with this webcast. But can you give very quickly, because some people who are listening to this may not be familiar with the Be My Eyes app or the whole approach uh, in terms of helping visually impaired people. So can you just give a couple of quick examples of how people have been using this both uh, as a visually impaired user or as a volunteer? So how mm-hmm. does the whole system work? Mm-hmm. Uh, the the majority of the calls that blind people are making uh, in Be My Eyes is from the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are about to cook something and they pull something out of the fridge and they are not quite sure what it is and uh, they want to know before they <laughs> start uh, doing something. And then they take out their smartphone and they click on Be My Eyes and then uh, we send out a notification to 10 people at once. Yeah. And then, uh, because we don't know what our volunteers are doing, and sure. some is working, and some is in the middle of an interview, and some is kissing his wife or something like that. <laughs> um, and they don't want to be disturbed. And then hopefully, and most likely, uh, one or two of those 10 people uh, has time. And the first one to say yes, will uh, get the, the live video connection and then those two people, they can uh, uh, yeah, talk together and, and the, the volunteer can say, please move the phone a little bit to the right or please turn the can around. And uh, okay, your oven is set to 200 degrees or 300, whatever it is. Right. Um, so so it, it's a pretty simple, uh, mm-hmm. straightforward uh, thing. And of course, we connect people uh, speaking the same language. And... And also, we, we don't call people at night. So if you are uh, a person uh, living in, in uh, Texas and you want help uh, four in the clock in the morning, we don't call anyone else in Texas four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but then we just ping someone in Europe or in uh, uh, Australia or New Zealand. So we have kind of turned the time zones into our uh, advantage. Um, and of course, we, uh, we have many, many uh, different languages uh, all right now. So we connect people speaking the same language, of course. Fantastic. And, and so simple. What a, what a great idea. And sometimes the best innovations are the simplest ones. Um, can, you, can you talk a little bit, though, about, and this is often the part that our listeners are most interested in, did you have any failures? Did you run any experiments in those early days where things just did not go the way that you expected? Uh, well, uh, uh, depends on how you define it. But we did, we did, in the beginning, we had a whole list of ideas that we wanted to put into the app. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the beginning, uh, but then we uh, looked at the money and, <laughs> we, <laughs> and then we said, ah, oh, maybe we should make it a little more simple. Uh, and then it ended up with, uh, we, we tried to make it as simple as possible. Yeah. And uh, so um, you, you can say it was a failure to have that many ideas in mm-hmm. the beginning, and but mm-hmm. because we ended up with uh, making it as simple as possible. Yeah. Uh, basically, there's only one button that you, you, you can uh, hit. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> so it, it's a super simple app. Um, yeah. and, and that was also because we realized that many of the blind people, they are uh, the first movers among blind people. They are uh, young people, mm-hmm. but the, the, the biggest group, they are people who has become blind maybe in their 60s or mm-hmm. 70s or even sure. later yeah. um, and, 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 and we wanted to make it a super simple to, to be yeah. an easy start for, for those people. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to scare them away with uh, 10 different mm-hmm. options and, and so mm-hmm. on. So, um, mm-hmm. And uh, maybe uh, we are a little disappointed but, but we haven't had <laughs> that many requests for those brilliant ideas we, <laughs> we had in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it was really a, a good thing we didn't um, overload the, the app in yeah. the beginning. But still, that is such a great learning. Uh, and one of the things we're really, we see often, uh, very much like what you say, that the innovators, the entrepreneurs almost want to over-engineer something because they have so many great ideas mm, for yeah. features and that they want to put into whatever it is they're building. And you've really leveraged feedback from your 
if you like, for lack of a better word, customers, your users, um, mm, yeah, yeah, to yeah. actually strip out anything that's not necessary, that doesn't mm, yeah. add value. So we, we did uh, on the on the volunteer side, we did mm -hmm. add. <laughs> that was also kind of funny because we uh, in the beginning we were thinking it it would be uh, difficult to find volunteers who were willing to uh, to sign up. Yeah. Uh, so we made kind of a gamification element where you could uh, gain some points uh, yeah. when you had uh, been helping someone. You could not mm -hmm. use the point for anything, but points are good. Uh, <laughs> and, and, but, but then, uh, as you might know, it turned out to be uh, we were overwhelmed by uh, volunteers. Uh, mm -hmm. t today, we have more than 1.5 million volunteers who wow. have uh, signed up. Uh, which is pretty amazing without any any marketing at all yeah. Uh, yeah. in 182 different languages I have no clue how those uh, language that I, I don't know what, even how to pronounce uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how they have heard about uh, be my eyes but but it, it's uh, spreading through yeah uh, Facebook and Twitter and uh, mouth to mouth and so on so, wow. so it's really amazing uh, so, so you could say that was also kind of a failure to yeah put put energy into making this um, point system that we have simply removed uh, sure. since because it didn't make any sense so. it didn't add value yeah no. wow that is just a phenomenal story. Hans, you, so you talked about how you learned from your, your users to keep things as simple as possible. Um, how are you, do you have any metrics or a way of measuring beyond the numbers that you have, which are pretty incredible? How do you keep in touch with your users, let's say, so that uh, if you do need to make changes in any way, you've got a way of saying, we're doing this because this is what we heard. Mm. Well, we uh, we get one thousand emails a month, so, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we feel the contact, <laughs> and, and uh, most of them are <laughs> about uh, people has had uh, great experiences, and uh, a lot of them are from volunteers who are asking, "Why don't I get uh, more calls?" Uh -huh, I'm sure. <laughs> and and um, so so, and, and then of course we uh, have a, a monthly uh, newsletter. Mm -hmm. And we try to make some small uh, uh, stories that we upload uh, actually in the app. There's a mm -hmm. button where you can you can uh, touch, and then uh, you can get the latest uh, user stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how we try to to do that. To do, to keep that communication mm, going. Yeah. 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 Mm. And and as you grow, I mean, I, it's just unimaginable. A million and a half volunteers. I can imagine all the the kind of impact agencies around the world that would love to have that kind of access to volunteers. Um, but what's been your biggest challenge uh, as you grow your user base and as your volunteer base obviously? Grows. What what are some of the challenges you face in managing that? Well, uh, uh, on the uh, server side, uh, it, we we have been uh, upscaling <laughs> our servers <laughs> quite a few times because, it, especially in in the beginning, uh, uh, the first week we had to rearrange three times because mm -hmm. <laughs> we were completely uh, over flooded with, uh, with sign ups and so on. So, <clears throat> but but the. Uh, I believe we have, I'm not, uh, as I mentioned, not technical, but I, I believe we have uh, that under control. So the mm -hmm. challenge we have now is exactly, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, all the different languages, yeah. uh, because we have decided that English is our uh, main language, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but many uh, blind people, they don't speak uh, any foreign language. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have many, many, of our users that we can really not communicate with. Um, and, and we are a, a small team. Uh, so so it's, it's, it's one of the challenges that we, we do have uh, uh, to, to communicate in a uh, effective and uh, good way with our uh, users and so on. So yeah. we yeah. are still working on that. And, uh, but we try to kind of ask those of our uh, the users and, and volunteers who speak more than one language to help us uh, mm -hmm. translate and, and so on. Uh, but it's kind of a, a work in, in progress uh, yeah. to, uh, to have this. Uh... Yeah, no, I can understand. Mm -hmm. You know, Hans, you mentioned you're a very small team. 
and you've made this app free to users around the world, mm -hmm. 185 different languages, you said, in countries. How are you able to make it a sustainable business? That's a good question. <laughs> it's, uh, <clears throat> we, first of all, the reason why it is free is because we, uh, we kind of look at the, the map and we can see that 90% uh, of the blind people in this world, they live in uh, low income settings. They live mm -hmm. in India and they live mm -hmm. in Africa and, and, and so And uh, I'm sure they will get a phone and they will also get a smartphone and they will also be able to, to get online, mm -hmm. uh, but you cannot charge them $10 a month. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, so we decided, uh, and it was not an easy decision to make, but we decided that it should be a free app and we didn't want the volunteers to pay for volunteering. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, so we had to find uh, the money somewhere else. And, and we have made uh, a new option uh, in the app. Uh, we had doubled the number of uh, buttons. So now there's two. Um, <laughs> and, and, and the other button is called uh, specialized help. Um, mm -hmm. And if you, for instance, if you have an issue with your Microsoft product, then you can call Microsoft support directly from Be My Eyes. Ah. Okay. Uh, and the, the good thing, there's a few good things about this. And one of them is that uh, Microsoft support, they also get the video part. Mm -hmm. So uh, because the, if you call support, the first thing they ask you, okay, what's on the screen now? Or mm -hmm. how many green lights is flashing or something like that? But if you are a blind person, well, that's not so easy to say. Mm -hmm. uh, but now they can just show the screen uh, with their phone. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, it is way easier for Microsoft support desk to help uh, their blind customers. Uh, and of course, uh, Microsoft is paying Be My Eyes a monthly fee. So we help them help their blind customers. What a fantastic idea. How did you yeah. come up with that idea? Well, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't my idea. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone from my team came mm -hmm. up with this idea. And, uh, but uh, I get to brag about it, at least. So, <laughs> uh, and this is uh, what we try to mm -hmm. uh, get all the major uh, tech companies to to sign up to, um, mm -hmm. because they 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 struggle in helping their blind uh, customers. Of course, and and blind customers struggle in finding a way into getting uh, a good support. Mm -hmm. Uh, as a visually impaired person myself, it's, it's also important <laughs> for me that now the companies get to feel their own product, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, they get to give support to blind people about their own product. Mm -hmm. uh, and that can be kind of a learning experience for uh, a number of companies. Um, <laughs> so, um, so, so that's also, uh, at least from, for me, uh, a, a part of it. Uh, yeah. we, we hope to kind of make the whole world more accessible to, yeah. uh, to blind people. Yeah. yeah, but it's such an innovative idea and it's such an innovative way of finding that way of financing your work in a way that doesn't actually impact your customers, your users. So We, we yeah. have this uh, saying that uh, um, it's only, uh, everybody wins only when nobody loses uh, and, and, and it's, uh, I think it, it fits perfectly into the, the way we, we do this because uh, Microsoft has uh, their support calls uh, for blind people. They are 30% uh, shorter now than they were mm -hmm. before. Uh, so they are really excited about this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, so it's, uh, yeah, I think it's really a win-win. It is, and what a great metric to be tracking as well on the Microsoft side, so they can it really is, yeah. mm. put put a value to that service yeah. that they're helping mm. you yeah. provide. Mm. And so, they are really uh, into being accessible and uh, doing all kinds of things for not only blind people, but mm -hmm. uh, for uh, all kinds of uh, handicapped uh, persons where it makes sense to uh, make things more accessible. Yeah. So it's uh, great to work together with those guys. Of course. So, so Hans, if, if you were to start this all over again from scratch, 
If you could go back <laughs> to 2012, I know. Can I think about this? <laughs> yeah, for uh, sure. And start uh, again. What, if anything, do you think you would do differently? It, what, what, been, what's been, been a surprise? A, well, it has uh, surprised me how much work I had to put into this. <laughs> and, uh, and, but but it also, it's also, uh, I would definitely do it again. Uh, and I don't really, on, on the big scale, I don't think I would do anything really different. Uh, mm -hmm. There's, of course, a lot of uh, small things that I would do different, but then I would probably make some other mistakes. <laughs> so um, so it's, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy about how we have uh, developed. Uh, everything takes uh, way longer than I thought, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, developing wise and, and, and so on. And so, uh, but also because it has been such a tremendous experience for me uh, personally, receiving mm -hmm. all these wonderful emails and, and sure. actually both from the blind persons, but also from the volunteers who are so excited about this opportunity to tell someone, yes, it is uh, coconut milk <laughs> that you have there, and they, they get completely excited about it, and, and they sit down and they send me an email, I help this guy uh, turn down his uh, air condition or something like that. And, and, uh, and n knowing that my super simple little idea from back in 2012 is giving people all over the world this uh, experience and this feeling is uh, uh, yeah that, that's uh, really uh, the yeah that's that's it <laughs> it must be so rewarding and, and it is yeah you're just you're helping people in the simplest way but the most impactful way make their lives easier Mm, and yeah, in yeah. the moment too. keep my eyes yeah. is not saving yeah. anybody's life or anything but but it does make blind people uh, life a little bit easier mm -hmm. and, and maybe most important now they um, you, you don't um, normally if you go and visit a blind person mm -hmm. there will be he will have kind of a list of things can you please tell me this letter what is that and and, yeah. and uh, I have mixed up those things can you please uh, put them in order for me yeah, so sure. now as a blind person you can get that out of out of the way mm -hmm. so now you can just be friends with your friends and you can have a cup of coffee when your brother comes sure. over he doesn't have to do uh, all those yeah. things even he, he wants to do it but yeah. but it is so nice as a blind or visually impaired person to to be able to to kind of do this on your own mm -hmm. uh and and uh, also so you don't have to remember to ask someone when they come around and so on sure I, I, I understand just because of my own experience in the past, independence is so critical it to is, the yeah. self-esteem of people <laughs> yeah. who are visually impaired. And, mm. and really, in one sense, that's what you're giving them is independence. Yeah. Mm. And the funny thing is that, uh, that basically there isn't any difference in uh, what you're doing if you make a FaceTime call to your sister and mm -hmm. ask her, uh, mm -hmm. or you make a, a call would be my eyes. Mm -hmm. But the whole and very important difference is that when you're using be my eyes, you, you don't feel that you are asking for help. Yeah. Because you know that you are not disturbing anyone because mm -hmm. those people, they want to help you. Yeah. And the only reason why they take the call is because they are available. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and this is a, a super nice feeling that you can sure. make 100 calls one day yeah. and, and you will never get the same person and you will <laughs> never get someone who say, oh, oh, sorry, but I don't have time today. So, uh, and, and this is uh, kind of amazing that there's so many good people out there that we can kind of pull this off. So. Sure, for sure. Well, you know, we, we have more than 25,000 people who have access already to these webcast sounds. So if you want to encourage a few more volunteers uh, or a few more users to uh, get connected with Be My Eyes, what would you say to them right now? How would you encourage them? Uh, on the team, we have been joking about that we should kind of uh, not let any volunteers in 
unless they can also bring a blind person. <laughs> uh, but, but we haven't done that yet, so, <laughs> so, you, so you can still volunteer. And uh, But of course, if, if you know a blind person or mm -hmm. uh, know someone who knows one, please uh, help us spread the word. Sure. Uh, that would be uh, a great thing. And then, of course, if you know a company that uh, makes something that is relevant for blind people, uh, mm -hmm. you, uh, uh, ask them to um, sign up as well. Uh, go for into sure. our website and read about what uh, the what we are offering for companies. Fantastic, Hans. Thank you so much for your time today. This has been such an interesting opportunity just to to chat with you and to learn about how you came to this place. And I'm so grateful for you sharing your story with us all. It's been a great pleasure. <laughs> thank you so much, Hans.